Hey guys, Transmech534 here, coming to you with my next Transformers review. And as you can see here we have um, Dark of the Moon Megatron. Finally, I uh, plucked up the money to go out and buy him. Um, just a quick look at the packaging first. Um, I like to show the packaging just because uh, here in the UK the packaging is a little different from America. And uh, I like to show off the differences. So uh, the front's the same. Um, the Megtech try me here. Obviously he's not in there. On this side, here, um, in America, this full side is taken up by his bio. Here we get this top little smidgen. Uh, Megatron has never truly been defeated. His plans are finally coming to fruition. Yeah, fruition's a big word for a, a child of whatever ages is recommended for. As you can see back, we got the, the Mack truck. This is a little different. Um, I've watched Up the Bottomless's review. He's nice. He shows the packaging. Um, he's a good guy. You should check him out. Um, there's some text missing here. This is all in different languages. Here in America, it's not. Let's round again, and we got a uh, neck tech stuff saying that the, the weapons can work with any figure and combine to create new weapons. Uh, that can be. Yeah. Anyway, Megatron. Great figure. Um, definitely one of the best Voyagers from the line. Um, him being my only Voyager for Dark of the Moon so far, um, I'd like to say that, mm, judging on what I've seen, it would be Skyhammer, him, Shockwave, Ironhide, Megatron, Ironhide Prime. Because uh, the Prime and Ironhide ones, uh, well, you've got the bigger versions of them and the previous um, Revenge of the Fallen for Prime. So, really the Voyagers are just kind of there for cheapos who can't afford the big ones. Kind of like me. <laughs> Whoa, there was the camera. Sorry about that. Um, so, uh, as you can see, obviously, he's got the movement joint edge here. Uh, which is good because it's only one figure this doesn't separate uh, this can come off nice pliable plastic set that off the side um, uh, the Darth Prime he's uh, another reviewer I should check him out there, my channel there's links to all these guys I'm gonna mention um, that's what this is this is where a coiled up hose would be for um, whatever reason to unload whatever he's transporting um, his role's pretty nice. Um, in this mode, he has a couple of mech tech ports. He's got one here, one on the other side, one here, one on the other side as well, and this one up the top. He also has clip-on points, which I haven't actually, well, I haven't seen mentioned. Um, you've got this one here, right in there, is a clip-on point. Um, I've never tried it, but I'm guessing the here could probably be a clip-on point. Uh, I bet I have to try that. Looks like it could be. Yeah, here's definitely a clip on point. It does say Mac across there, which is very nice. Um, he's got the rust detailing and... Uh, this... One thing that no one seems to know is why this window comes out further than the other window. Um, the real truck in real life is like that, but why? Uh, could someone tell me that in the comments, please? Um, to start the transformation, you want to remove his mech tech weapon, which I like is actually hidden in the this part of the vehicle. Just open it up. It's a capture claw thing. Uh, I like to think it comes together to form a big fusion cannon. Nice. Uh, moving on, you want to separate here and accordion them out on both sides. Um, flip this down and bring this whole piece down and separate and uh, tab the tab there the hole in there and you just tab in the hole simple as Nothing 
major or about it rotate the legs and untab from up here and here and bring them out you can see the difference there in the two legs out bring up the crotch plate rotate the not with it yet. Um, you want to fold these wheels in to stop uh, the legs acting on that joint up in here. Um, next, you want to bring this up like so, and bring this down like so. Separate here. Flip up the. Uh, smokestacks here. Now this should be able to rotate. Stand them up. Bring them back a little. Rotate the arms down. Down. Around. Flip out the hands and it's nice to see that he actually has two this time around. Um, bring this down and a it should flip up his head, his teeny head. Oops, sorry. Oh, finger got in the way of the camera there. There we go, raise the camera. Um, just fold all this in on itself and tab it on. Rotate these so that they like so. And split the bumper. And there we have Dark of the Moon, Voyager Megatron in Robot Mode. Okay, sorry about that uh, camera cut out. Um, so, Robot Mode. Um, articulation, we got 360 here. We got a bend here, like so. Forward and back here, and bends like that at the knee. And it's coming apart here. Sorry, that's my fault. There we go. Now, um, obviously he comes with the cloak, so let's get that on him. There's a hole here and a tab there. So you just tab this into the hole. It always seems to give me trouble. Just doesn't seem to cooperate. And, hmm. uh, I like to bring the bumper out over the cloak just to give it a little more of a they that he's holding it on there with his truck so uh yeah and uh, obviously he comes with the mech tech cannon now uh this is this is what the box calls his fusion kit his blaster and it says blaster converts to fusion cannon so uh blaster oh it says open rotate this is the fusion cannon um i like to think this becomes one here they kind of meld the front comes one big ass weapon just tab that onto his arm there now uh, it does say on the box that uh, you can combine weapons to make new weapons so uh, let's see how that works let's put on this weapon here and whoa it's the fusion claw o death cannon ah. yeah that really doesn't work why Hasbro? So um anyway, this has been Transmech 534 and I'll see you all next time.